Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhouse here. This is an image I shot under the pier in Oceanside, California. And as you can see, I colored it already. But what I did here, I colored it with iridescent Marshall acrylics. So that's the only set of paints from the Marshall photo oil series that are not oils, but acrylics. So they're iridescent, they're shiny. Not sure if you can see that really well on camera. But in this video, I want to show you how you can work with Marshall acrylics that are iridescent in combination with the oils. So I'll also show you a few tricks that you can do in order to get other colors than those that would exist as acrylics with Marshalls um, to get them iridescent. So stick around. So these are the, the four Marshalls iridescent acrylics. So you have copper, pearl, gold, and silver. And then I'm going to put the color on with cotton rounds and Q-tips. And remember, these are acrylics, and these here are the Marshall photo oils. So these are the oil-based paints, and we have acrylics. So we're going to use both of these on the photo under the pier. I'm going to start with the beach. So I'm taking gold, I'm going to mix that a little bit with copper. So let's take a little bit of gold. Some copper. And here's the thing. So these paints are actually not that translucent as the oils are. So never put this directly onto the photo, unless of course you want an opaque look to it, that's fine. But we're going to color this so we need more translucent which means we need to dilute it further and we can do that either with golden glass glazing liquid or because that also reduces a little bit of the iridescence of the paint we can also use iridescent medium which has an iridescence to it um, and still is uh, translucent so in order to keep that effect of the iridescent paints. I'm going to dilute it with iridescent medium. So I'll take a little bit of that. We'll grab a Q-tip and then we're going to mix these a little bit. With a very foreground here. Okay, let's put that into the medium. You can see you need a lot more. I want to start with this mix of color in the front and work my way back with more gold. Let's see what this looks like. I have to be careful now because this dries super fast. You know what? I can probably use all of this. So the difference with the regular Marshall photo oils is that those take forever to dry. Oh, I'm lying. It takes, depending on the weather, maybe up to a week. Sometimes within a day if it's really hot. Whereas these acrylic paints from Marshalls, and as normal most acrylics do, they dry like very fast, like this is already dry. Okay, I think we have a nice color now. Yeah, let's work with that. So I'll grab a cotton round.
and just dab it on just like we normally do with the oils. Kind of want to avoid the shadows. Because they're so dark and when you look at different angles I still want that to be not reflective. So this is already dry now. So it is a little harder to work with than with the oils. Because you cannot make corrections. So it's not as bad, it's not too bad if you do go a little bit into the shadow areas here, but if you have a lot of details that are important, you, you want to prevent going over that because you cannot really correct it anymore. Here I'll see if I can show you the effect of the iridescence where there was a lot of reflection. Yeah, there it is. Okay, a little bit over here. By the way, this is Fuji Crystal Archive photo paper, uh, matte paper, which is used in light jets and is very good paper to use Marshall photo oils on, or acrylics, like we're doing now. And now we kind of want to move a little bit more to the gold, just the gold. So take a little bit more medium, iridescent medium. The gold. And mix that in. New cotton round. And add it. So not not pushing very hard. And now I would like to show you a little trick. So we only have these four pearl, silver, gold and copper colors. But what if you want like an iridescent blue or aquamarine in the ocean here? So to do that, you can actually just add pure iridescent medium, which is what I'm going to do now. Put that everywhere where we want a particular color and then we can go over that with a Marshall photo oil because you can work with oils on top of acrylics you cannot do the other way around and this is an acrylic based medium and when that's dry we can go over it with a Marshall photo oil and get it iridescent that way. A 
Not sure how well this shows on the video, but when I look at <coughs> certain angles, here, yeah, let's see. You can see that it's like reflective. That was a little too much. Where I put the iridescent medium. Here. So while this is now drying, it will dry very fast. We can actually add some sky blue oils to the sky. So we don't have to be too careful putting the blue oil on because this removes very easily. As opposed to the acrylics. So go around. So let's go around this cloud a little bit. Some blue got onto ocean, got on the ocean here. All right. With a Q-tip now, I'll rem remove some of the paint where I don't want it. this cloud like that maybe these here and this is a little ruined here this doesn't come off anymore like it's stuck to the iridescent medium But that's all right. Okay, so let's see how this is. Still a little sticky. So I'm, I'm gonna, and you can see it, it's, it's not quite dry yet. So this takes a little bit longer to dry. And we're gonna wait till that's dry and then put some aquamarine on it. So now that it's dry, let's grab some aquamarine. This is background aqua. Clean cotton round. We just put it on, on top of the iridescent medium. So now we have an iridescent aqua.
we go. A little bit on this side. I can even extend a little bit into the gold. And let's do this. So you can see I messed up a little bit here. Now if we take pearl, that's really shiny white opaque we can just put that over over that area All right. So now, since we put the aquamarine, since we put the aquamarine on top of this iridescent medium, we can add some burnt sienna to the bottom here, on top of the iridescent gold and copper mix. So this is oil again, pick up a little, and so now we have like a, in the very foreground, like an iridescent gold slash burnt sienna, light brown color. And yeah, that's it. And as you can see, I left this totally untouched because that's a, it's actually my my favorite part of the image where the sun is reflecting right here on that point, having a little sun in the left bottom corner. So this is it. And so the piece is finished. Um, the oil part is still going to need some time to dry, but the acrylic part is already dry. So I hope you liked the video. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.